Meghan Markle's pregnancy could help the Duchess of Sussex and her relationship with Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and calm any feud between the sisters-in-law, a family consultant said. The duchesses could rebuild their relationship thanks to Prince Harry and Meghan's baby, due in spring, matrimonial and family consultant Sheila McIntosh Stewart claimed. She said tensions are fairly commonplace between in-laws, especially when they come from such different backgrounds like Meghan and Kate. But there are strategies the sisters-in-law could adopt to avoid causing an irreversible tear in their relationship, according to Ms. McIntosh Stewart. She told Express.co.uk, When conflict occurs, it's important to try and see things from the other's point of view and to practice love in action strategies. Both duchesses should make efforts to check in often and stay connected. Maintaining regular contact can avoid misunderstandings and tensions that arise from miscommunication or feelings of hurt from feeling excluded. Meghan is pregnant and is likely to need more support than ever so any kindness and advice Kate could give would undoubtedly be appreciated and reciprocated. Meghan and Kate have been reportedly entwined in a bitter feud. According to a royal insider, Kate was left in tears during a particularly stressful bridesmaid dress rehearsal session with Princess Charlotte in a run-up to Meghan and Harry's wedding. And, another source claimed, the Duchess of Cambridge confronted the Duchess of Sussex after Meghan reportedly mistreated her staff. Kensington Palace has refused to comment on the alleged feud, but stated the discussion over Kate's staff never happened. Ms. McIntosh Stewart said Meghan and Kate's different personalities may contribute to tensions. She said, tensions and rifts between in-laws are fairly commonplace and usually build up over time. In terms of the royal sister-in-laws, Kate and Meghan are like chalk and cheese with radically different personalities, characters, backgrounds and upbringings. On the one hand, we have a reserved, privately educated, family-focused English woman who has never really worked outside of her royal duties. On the other hand, we have a go-getter American actress who is direct, goal-orientated, impatient, driven and outspoken. Reports of a rift between Meghan and Kate started after the Sussexes announced they were moving out of Nottingham Cottage, on the grounds of Kensington Palace, to live in Windsor's Frogmore Cottage. While speculations over the rift had been temporarily silenced after the two duchesses arrived to Sandringham St. Mary Magdalene Church for the Christmas Day service smiling and chatting to each other, they were quickly rekindled in the new year by new claims. On Wednesday, a royal insider said Meghan doesn't want to give birth to her firstborn at the Lindo Wayne in London where Kate delivered her three children because she doesn't want to do anything that Kate does.